besties, how are you? In today's video, we're gonna be decorating with sunflowers. <laughs> sunflowers are perfect transition flowers from summer to fall. And I'm not saying I want summer to end, no, no, no. And I'm not ready for fall decorating just yet. I just wanna do a little hint that it's around the corner. <laughs> Let me show you guys what we're gonna do today. And here's Coco rocking her sunflower. Thank you so much, guys, for all the love and all the wonderful comments you send to her every day. It's so sweet of you. First, I want to show you a candle that I got at the Dollar Tree. Look at this beautiful sunflower print and a label. You are amazing. It doesn't look like $1 candle at all. And it looks very nice with sunflower decor. Look how beautifully it glows at night. The easiest way of decorating with flowers is, of course, putting them in a container, making an arrangement. But some people are intimidated by making arrangements. And let me show you how easily, quickly this could be done. Here I have a mix of real and fake flowers like these hydrangeas they used to be white now as the summer progresses they turn green and they kind of dry up right there in a the bush so they don't even need water uh, so here i have a couple galvanized containers i love that for the fall like a small pitcher this one is from a christmas tree shop only 1.99 or a little milk can or even um, an old Tomato can will work for these arrangements as well, guys. So whatever you have. And these cuties I found in my garden. I'm just trimming them up. Most important is the height. Don't be scared to cut the flowers. <laughs> the shorter, the better, because it will be easier to arrange them. If they're usually people, when they pick a container, and it's too big for the flowers so make sure you cut the stems uh, so they're just above the rim line and these little things i found during my walk by the lake uh, those little green balls caught my attention they're so adorable so i snipped a few and uh, i just knew they're gonna make the arrangement how cute are they and then those brown things, <laughs> I think these are weeds from my garden, guys, uh, but I like the brown color. Uh, you see yellows, browns, greens, slowly introducing warm fall colors. Uh, that's the whole point. Uh, without orange yet. <laughs> and this is it, guys. Simple farmhouse arrangement. It's not perfect. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to look like the flowers were picked on the side of the road and most of them were anyway <laughs> so i encourage you to make one yourself because even uh, when you buy it on clearance at pier one it would cost you 15 dollars for a small arrangement like that and then i pulled out some old books how beautiful are these guys with the fabric cover i decide to use them in my decor uh, and uh, if you don't have any guys, you can, I'm sure you can find some at the thrift store or at the yard sales. It's worth getting them, it's such a treasure. You can also tie them with some jute string and put them on your mantle. And here are my green hydrangeas. They actually used to be white. You guys remember how I made the lemon arrangement before, they were white. Now, as they dry up, they turn in green and they're gonna stay like that. So I'm just removing the leaves because the leaves will dry and not look so nice. I remove the leaves, I cut them to size just so those tabs are resting on this rim of the milk can. And then I'm gonna add some sunflowers. Unfortunately, none of them came out in my garden. I have too many squirrels, they ate them. <laughs> Uh, so I have some silk uh, sunflowers, uh, which I'm cutting. And adding them all around the bouquet, just like so. And 
and I'm gonna need a couple more over there in the back. Step back, take a look at it again. Does the arrangement look nice all around? Like right here, I can see that the hydrangea is covering the handles of the milk can, and I kind of want them to show. Uh, this is a dry flower. You can also uh, use, uh, of course, uh, silk hydrangeas. I know Dollar Tree sells the green ones, so it's not a problem just to cut it off, or if it's silk, you can bend it up and uh, adjust it. Uh, so I'm just trimming it a little bit so the handles are showing. I just want them to show. <laughs> And now a small touch of checkered ribbon. You know, I love it on everything. <laughs> How easy was that to make, guys? How cute. And uh, the little milk can comes from Michael's. Compatible arrangement at Pier 1 is $60, so you guys do the math. Definitely worth making your own. Let me show you how easily I can make an arrangement on the top of the tray. I like using the tray because it makes it easy to pick it up and move and clean. Um, here I'm adding a Granny Smith apple because I love how it picks up the uh, colors of the flowers. Uh, the little farm sign is from Dollar Tree. And the tray I got from Christmas Tree Shop a while ago. And there you go, just a few little accessories and I think make a beautiful arrangement. And here is another one with the message board from Dollar Tree. And have you seen those little notepads at the Dollar Tree? I love the Buffalo Check Governize look. And I know many of you commented that you guys like it too. So worth checking out the school stationery aisle. And now something for my little truck lovers. This one comes from JCPenney. And we are going to decorate it with sunflowers, of course. I have different uh, sizes of sunflowers, large and small. Small bale of straw from Dollar Tree, as well as some raffia and a small little bucket. I am actually recycling an old one, but I know you can get one at a Dollar Tree. And then we're gonna need some ribbon, a gift tag, and I did a printout, loads of sunshine on my computer. This font is called The Skinny. If you don't have that font and you like it, I can email you. And I have a chalk pen and some chalk there. First, I'm cutting and trimming my uh, small sunflowers and adding them to the little bucket. Of course, you're gonna have to add a little bit of green foam to your bucket. Mine came with it already, but um, as you can see, I'm bending down the flowers, making them look like they're coming from a sunflower form. They're not supposed to be perfect. And this step is optional, depending how deep is the back of your truck. Mine is pretty deep, so I need to fill it up in order for the flowers to show. So I'm just using shopping bags to do that. And then I'm gonna cover it with a net, like metal net that I have, but it could be anything, cardboard, whatever. This is better, but not quite there yet. And we are gonna add that uh, floral foam over there. I'm just gonna use a little bit of hot glue to glue it. And then start adding the sunflowers. All my sunflowers are coming from different old projects. Uh, so um, I cannot tell you where they're from but I know Dollar Tree sells sunflowers very nice quality this year. And then we're gonna add a bucket in the back, just like so, and put the straw bale on the side. 
How cute is that, guys? Does it look like the sunflowers are coming from the sunflower form? Yes? <laughs> this is perfect. And now let's cover everything with raffia. And I love raffia because it creates that straw look, uh, like almost um, a hay right on the back of the truck, right? <laughs> And now let's do that little chalkboard sign for my truck. If you had seen me do the signs, you know how to do it. I just shade the back of my printout with some chalk. Then I tape it to the little chalkboard label I have here and trace with the pencil. Everything transfers beautifully. I don't need to even use my chalk pen here, but if you like, you could. And since this is a gift tag and I have a little holder, I'm attaching a piece of ribbon. Just a little decoration. And I'm gonna attach it to the back of the truck with um, one trap of hot glue. A glue that would be better, but I cannot find it at the moment. Oh my goodness, this is just so stinking cute. And I cannot wait to hear from my little truck lovers. What do you think about this one? And if you decide to recreate it, make sure you don't make your flowers perfect. All different height, different shapes, sizes, bend them in different directions. They're not supposed to be perfect like in a vase arrangement. These are coming from the farm. Remember that, okay? <laughs> Have fun with it, guys. And here I have a quick wall decor idea for you. We just need two items from Dollar Tree. Flower sack towel with a beautiful bicycle and sunflower print and a picture frame. And this is so simple. All we have to do is Take out the glass, trace around the edges, and cut out that perfect rectangle. I also recommend getting those creases out real quick. And now we have a canvas. <laughs> Let's just glue it to the cardboard that came with the frame. Just a dot in each corner. And then you can put the frame back together. Or if you have some spray paint on hand, uh, you can paint the frame to match your decor. I had this cream chalk paint and I had to do three coats. And then I picked up some sandpaper and distressed the edges a little bit. And here it is. I love it so much. I always loved bicycles and I've seen those prints around, but they always so pricey. Like this one at wafer.com. It's 50% off, but it's still $30. So we got this one done for two and I'm very happy with it. I love it. And that napkin on the right is the second half of that picture, guys. And I just remembered that at Christmas time, I purchased this bicycle ornament at Christmas tree shop. What are the chances, guys, that it's also red? <laughs> I just attached the little sunflower in the back. And look at that. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to have this. <laughs> Sometimes things just worked out. And finally, I'm very excited to share with you my sunflower wreath. All we're gonna need is a wreath form and a sign from Dollar Tree. And this one this year is one of my favorites, guys. Looks like wooden planks. Look at this beautiful sunflower print. 
and galvanized at the top. How amazing to get that for a dollar. And then we're gonna need flowers. Big sunflowers, medium and small would work best, I think. Also some berries and greenery, also from Dollar Tree. And of course, we're gonna need ribbons. I have this burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. Uh, the yellow one comes from a store called Dollar Zone for $1. And um, of course, my buffalo check ribbon. Um, the one I had just ended, but it lasted me a long time. I bought it at Hobby Lobby. The Jumbo Roll is 50% off right now, which is only $5. It's a great deal. The sign is beautiful, but I think they really messed it up with this glitter wording at the top. Totally ruins the beautiful galvanized part. So I'm trying to remove it with the nail polish remover. And it comes off pretty well. Much better, isn't it? Still slight shadow, but it's okay. We are going to start off by wrapping the reform with some burlap. And I'm only using green because I know it takes a roll and a half. And green is the only color I had to uh, more than one roll of. So <laughs> and that's why I'm using green. I think natural burlap will look very nice with it as well. So as you saw, I used some hot glue in the beginning. And then I'm going to use a little bit in the middle. And then at the end. And here I want to show you as one roll ends, we're going to have to glue it right there. Always try to glue in the back. I burned my hand. Ugh, what's new? And now we're going to continue with the second roll. And of course, what are the chances? Turns out my second green roll is a little bit different. You see the edging? Who knew? Both come from Dollar Tree. I never pay attention to that. But it's okay because I'm going to have a sign there on the side anyway, so it's okay. And now we're going to just close it off. Okay, and we're going to cover that section right there with my sign. And you see the sign uh, moves, since these are planks, they are attached by ribbon in the back. We have to do something about it because they won't lay flat. <laughs> so I decide to glue little popsicle sticks on the back of the sign, just like so. And that will prevent the planks from moving. I still want the little spaces there because I just love that part. I think they add a lot to the sign. Yay, it worked. <laughs> I love this sign so much. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. I love it. Did I say I love it? I love it so much. <laughs> and then we need floral wire to attach the sign. So put the sign where you want it and then mark those two spots where you need attachment. And most of you know my trick already. Uh, we're just gonna put some hot glue right there submerge the floral wire and then cover it with a piece of yeah add some more hot glue and cover with a piece of uh, ribbon like a bandage <laughs> and that will create a very nice and secure tie and here this is how i attach it i actually thread both wires through the reef form pull them out on the other side and twist to close And now let's cover the reef with some greenery. This time I have a garland. So we're gonna just go around with the garland and attach it with some hot glue. I think it's easier than anything else, guys.
there will be a remainder at the end which you can cut off and use it later on to fill in any empty spaces okay and now let's pre-arrange everything let's see how it will look we put a big bow in the middle um, a big sunflower on each side so that's two large sunflowers then a medium sunflower and a small let's see medium and a small at the tip and same thing at the bottom and I think already is creating a beautiful reef right there uh, but I have some of these cute berries I bought at a Dollar Tree that we're gonna put in in between and I think that's so cute and here I'm debating whether to use the yellow ribbon but I decide to go for it why not <laughs> so here I am creating the bow and uh, this is gonna be so easy guys the simple bow that you all like I'm cutting about 30 inches and it's gonna be two pieces of each color And here I have to cut the fish tail, so I just fold it in half and in half alongside, cut in an angle, and perfect fish tail. So we gotta do that for all of the ribbons. All right, and all we have to do is now to tie them together. All we're really doing is just measuring to make sure that all loops are the same size, like I have six inch loops right here, six inches, pinch and put it together. I'm holding everything with my thumb right there. Six inches, pinch, put it together. Six inches, put it together. And now tie them all with a piece of floral wire. And that's it guys. All you have to do now is just fluff, fluff, fluff. Okay, now you have to pull that wire through the reef and just tie it in the back. Okay, something really bothers me. My sunflowers are such a different color yellow than the ribbon and sunflowers in the picture. And I have these daisies that are just perfect color. And I wish I had sunflowers like that. And uh, oh my gosh, it really bothers me. Uh, but don't worry if you're not anal like me <laughs> go for it but if you are here's my trick i open up both flowers and i wish i could switch the petals but these are large sunflowers so all i can do is add the lighter color on top of it which creates a, a nicer fuller flower don't you think and it also adds a shade of yellow that i'm looking for And here's the medium size. I switched the petals completely. I love how it looks now. Really goes with the color in the picture and with the ribbon. And then the tiny sunflower has to stay the same, but I think it creates a good mixture of different shades of yellow. And now let's go ahead and glue everything in. So just like we prearrange everything, one large sunflower on each side of the bow. Then a medium on each side. And then a small one at the end.
All right, and let's add those adorable berries now. We're just going to insert them in the spaces in between the flowers and in between the ribbon all around the wreath. And we have six berries, and if you count the spaces, about six spaces right there. So this is as easy step-by-step uh, -step instructions as I could give you. This is the simplest wreath ever, guys. <laughs> I hope you're going to recreate it because you cannot go wrong with this. And we are done. All we have to do now is just create a little loop hanger. Uh, I have a remainder of that green ribbon there. Just fold it over, use some hot glue and attach it. Okay, we were done, but now I'm looking back at my wreath and I created one more pale yellow sunflower and I want to add it right there in the middle of a bow. It's just my personal preference, guys. You don't have to do it if you don't like it. And here are the leaves from sunflowers that I cut off and I want to add them here and there for additional texture. The wreath is done and you know how I love my little cherry on the top. So today I'm going to use a little bee button. Ta-da! How do you like it, guys? I love it. And the best part about it, besides being so easy to make, I think is that it's a great transitional piece between summer and fall. I love that. And of course, the price is right. We only spend about $10 on our wreath. Yet, if you go to Kirkland's, you would have to spend at least 30 or a handmade wreath on Etsy would cost you around $100 or even more. So it's definitely worth making your own. I am actually thinking about giving this wreath away to you guys. This week, I have reached 5,000 subscribers, which is unbelievable. I am so happy and grateful for all of you. I think I'm going to do a wreath giveaway. I am just not sure if you would like to win something like that. Please let me know in the comments down below. And if you're interested, I'm going to do a giveaway video next time. Let me know. And at the end, I have a last quick decor idea for you. Uh, how to decorate your lantern. We're going to need some ribbons a candle of course and some remaining flowers that you might have after you do your wreath and all the other decor hopefully you have some flowers left i have just a few so here i start off by decorating the candle uh, i'm just gonna glue a piece of burlap right there then i'm going to layer the second ribbon on top of it of course, my baffle check. 
measure twice, cut once. <laughs> And then just tap it off with a little cherry on the top. What do you think? Isn't that adorable? And then we're going to create a little bow for the top of the lantern. And you can use all your scrap ribbons here, whatever you guys have left. Um, I have three buffalo check and two burlap. And I'm just pinching and tying them together with a floral wire. Okay, so we have to just fluff it up and we have a nice bow. Uh, as you notice, these tails are short. These are scraps of uh, ribbons. Uh, so we're going to have to cut one long piece of ribbon here uh, to create the tails. And I'm going to use buffalo check here. Just measure the size of your lantern, cut a piece, and then cut the fish tails. And pinch in the middle and attach it to the rest of the bow. And now use the remaining wire to attach the bow to your lantern. And then attach any flowers you might have. I don't even glue them in. I am just uh, twisting the stem and tying it that way, just in case I want to reuse that uh, ribbon later on. And then I have some leftover leaves, so I'm just attaching them here and there. And then I'm adding a few leaves to the inside of the lantern. And here's the final result. I wanted to share this with you guys because these were leftovers and they could have went to the garbage, but um, I used them up and created a nice result. You don't have to spend much to do something pretty. And this is how it looks around my fireplace. I'm loving this color so much. I'm gonna enjoy it until end of the summer. And then I'm gonna be adding slowly the little pumpkins here and there and all other fun fall accessories. Okay guys, so this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you're gonna have fun recreating some of these ideas. And make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Take care. Bye-bye. Last year around this time, my best friend Camila got married. And since sunflowers are her favorite flowers, I thought I will surprise her with these special memories at the end of this video. I hope you guys don't mind. Happy first anniversary, Camila and Mike!